When we recorded the Drupal 8 beginner class that you've been watching, Drupal 8 hadn't even been released yet. And so this video is being inserted much later, but we referenced it in the class and we wanted to finish it up. This is the session where we talk about how to create proper URL paths for our website. You'll notice I've already jumped ahead here because again, this is being recorded later. Uh, I've got a lot of content in here. Setting up your URL paths requires two modules. Those two modules are the path auto and token module. Head over to drupal.org slash project slash path auto and go ahead and install the path auto project that's here in the green. And of course the number will be different by the time you do this, but just make sure you're getting the Drupal 8 version. So copy that link, head back to your site and install the module the normal way. I've already done this, so of course I can't do it again. Go ahead and get that installed. Come back over to the Path Auto project page and you'll notice that Path Auto requires token. It's ready now, at least in alpha, it works. Go ahead, right click on that, copy link, and install that module as well. Once you've installed those two modules, go ahead and turn them on. All right, once you've done that, we're ready to go. Click on Configuration, and down here on the left-hand side, you'll see under Search and Metadata, URL aliases. What you're seeing on my screen will be different than what you have simply because I've already gone ahead and done this exercise. Each node on your site has a system path of slash node slash node ID. That's similar for taxonomy terms, and you'll see that all of the nodes that have been created follow the same pattern. Well, what Path Auto does is it allows us to set up patterns for our content paths. So the default is content. Go ahead and click on patterns, and then you'll want to go ahead and update your patterns for whatever content types you have enabled for now to match what I have. The key is slash square bracket node colon title, and then whatever you want for the beginning of the pattern. And you'll do this each time you create a new content type. Once you've done that, click Save, and head over to Delete Aliases. Delete all aliases. Now, don't ever do this on your live site, because all of my aliases are now gone. And now Drupal 8 takes me over to Bulk Generate, where I can now bulk generate all the aliases again. It doesn't take very long. And now on my list, all of my aliases have been updated with event, group, tags, users, and manual. And again, this is because this video is being recorded much later than the course was completed. But I hope that's helpful. Path Auto and Token modules allow you to set up URL patterns, and you can delete and bulk generate at any time. The great thing is, now that you've done this before you've added content, every node that you add from here on out will use the patterns that you've established.